Hello everyone. Today we're going to have the parameter ratio of similar figures. So um, I put a little note over here. If two figures are similar, then the ratio of their parameter is equal to the ratio of their corresponding side lengths. So these are the corresponding side lengths. First, side length M is corresponding to side T. So these two are corresponding. And then the word parameter that we have here, which is represented as P, parameter in math means it's the distance around a figure. So parameter, if you add all the length of all the sides here, that's the parameter. So the parameter of one over the parameter of two. So the ratio of the two parameters here is equal to the ratio of their corresponding side length. So that's how I got the formula over here, that P1 over P2, P is the parameter, is equal to side length M over side length T. So let's have an example here to, to better see how uh, this formula work. So let's take this example right here. So suppose I have here these two pictures. So these two pictures, it says here that they are similar. What is the parameter of the first figures? We're looking for P1. So the side length for the first picture is 10 centimeters and the side length of the second is 8 centimeters. And then the parameter, parameter is the distance around this triangle is 32 centimeters. And then the, the distance around this is missing. So how do we find the, um, the distance around this triangle here? So again, the rule says that the ratio of the parameter, so I can go ahead and write P1 over P2 is equal to the ratio of their side length. So that would be, um, that's 10 centimeters right here, over eight centimeters. So then I can go ahead and plug in values to this one right here. So P1 is missing. So I can uh, keep that as P1. P2 here is 32 um, centimeters equals 10 centimeters over eight centimeters. From here, we want the P1 or the parameter of the first picture. So we are going to um, cross multiply these two here. So we are left with eight centimeters P1. So eight centimeters and then P1 is equal to 32 centimeters times 10 centimeters. So then we can go ahead and simplify this. So this is eight centimeters P1 equals 32 times 10 is 320 centimeters squared because centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So we divide both because we want P1 by itself. So we're gonna divide eight centimeters from both sides. I divide this by eight centimeters here. So I can cross out the eight centimeters and eight centimeters. The, uh, centimeters squared means there are two centimeters there. So I'm gonna take one of them and then I'll take the uh, centimeter here so that if you divide uh, three, uh, 120 divided by eight, our P1 is um, 40. So we are left already with centimeters because centimeters squ squared means two centimeters and we have one centimeters at the bottom. So we cross out one of the two and then cross out the centimeters at the bottom. So we're left with 40 and the unit is centimeters. So this is 40 centimeters. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So pretty much the same thing. These two figures here are similar. So what is the length of the corresponding? Although it's not written here, uh, but we always remember that the side should be corresponding in order for their parameter to be um, equivalent or to be uh, the ratio of their uh, parameter to be equal. So then it means that the, uh, the corresponding side of 13 is this. So I can name this as X. You can write any letter for that. It doesn't matter. So um, going through this same process that we have here. So P1 over, so our P1, so I'm just going to write the formula here first. So P1 over P2 is equal to the first side length, which is 13 feet 
over x feet. And then we go ahead and write the uh, value for P1. That would be 65 feet over 85 feet. And that is equal to, um, it's going to be 13 feet over x feet. So we cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply these two here. So we have x um, x times 65 feet is equal to 85 feet times 13 feet. So then we go ahead and divide both sides by, because we want the x by itself. So we divide this by 65 feet. And then we divide this by 65 um, feet. So then from here, we can cross out 1 feet and 1 feet here. So then we are we can cross out the 65 feet and 65 feet. Now others would want to multiply these two. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter. The answer is still the same. It's different from the way how it did it over here, but it's still going to get the same answer. So this would come out x is equal to, um, that's going to be, 85 times 13 because we already cross out the feet and the feet or you can do it the you can do it the same way over here where you can get a feet squared it doesn't matter the answer is still the same and the math is pretty much the same thing so um we multiply 85 times 13 so that would be 1100 and um five feet and then we divide that by we still have the 65 so then our answer for x is 17. So the, the final uh, uh, unit for this, by the way, is feet. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.